We're motivated to win. That's why we're doing this. We're a competitive culture. We're in it to win it, and that is what motivates us every day, is winning. And we couldn't be more excited to see this vehicle out, on, out in the desert winning uh, next year. So yeah, first race of the year, San Felipe, we were under the gun. Putting all the pieces together to get to that first race was nothing short of a massive endeavor. The boys had worked all night the night before to, to get it buttoned up and then loaded them on the trucks and drove them down the day before tech. You know, on paper, we had great drivers, great cars, great team, great infrastructure, but we never put it all together. So it was really kind of like, I don't know what to expect. We're gonna see how this goes tomorrow. All you can do is plan and hope you execute on the plan. The race started awesome. Uh, we were running one, two, three, four. I like race mile 50 and I'm going, well, this is easy. Plans going together great. And then I quickly learned with four cards, it's a constant game and getting kicked in the you know what. You know, there's always one card that has something happen or, you know, one car's out in the lead, another car's not. It was it was like that the whole race. We, just as soon as we thought we got caught up with a car that was back in contention or leading, we'd have another car fall off and then that car, it, it was nonstop. Ultimately, the very end of the race, after a very long five hours, we thought we were gonna win. Uh, we thought we were gonna win through the factory cars. We had Caden running uh, in first, about two miles from the finish line, and we had a mechanical, and a wheel fell off, and cost him the race, cost the, the car its first race. But luckily, Craig passes Caden and goes on to win. Those mechanicals uh, that we suffered at San Felipe were the perfect building blocks for us to solve some problems as we move forward into the next couple of races. My background coming from racing trophy trucks, um, that is the fastest four-wheel vehicle that enters a desert race. When I chose to be a part of this Polaris factory racing program, um, that was one of my first questions was, well, what class are we racing in? The best answer from Polaris was, well, we don't really care what class we're racing in if we get that win, we're after the overall UTV fastest time. Um, in the UTV class, there's a lot of different classes. There's, you know, force induction, there's, there's NA, there's, you know, we race in, and we're all kind of competing for the overall. The cars are for the most part all pretty similar and pretty fast. There's just kind of some subtle differences around you know, why they're in a different class or why they're not allowed to race together. So right now, the best measure of who's fastest in UTV is the overall. The Baja 500 was, uh, it was great. San Felipe, I had a little issues and, and didn't get the best finish. So for me, it was, um, it was redemption. We felt like we had had learned a lot from San Felipe, but again, things happen. It's Baja, it's racing. You never know what to expect. Brock runs a clean race, but we have an issue in the pit with the fueling uh, of Pressure Pro. And that was really a complete mistake on the team. We hadn't tested the, the Pressure Pro to make sure it fit. Didn't end up costing us the race. Uh, he was able to, to, to battle back and take the win. But again, it showed us just like San Felipe, we can't be complacent. And again, I was happy to see that. You know, I don't want things to be easy because I, I believe when you're easy, you're complacent and we need to keep challenging these guys to get better and better. I can remember watching Brock along the highway there outside of Borrego and uh, thinking, man, he's, is that all the faster this car will go? Like thinking it should be going faster. And I talked to him after the race, you know, was that, was that all you had? And he said, no, but you know, I had a, an eight or a 10 or a 12 minute lead and you know, there's no point in pushing the car to, its ex you know, to the extreme if I don't have to. There's a lot of drivers that, that can go fast to the first couple of checkpoints, to the first couple of pits, but getting to the finish line um, is really what separates, again, the good drivers from, from the great drivers. <laughs> Baja 400 was going really great for us. Um, you know, it was a random draw, and Brock Hager, who had won the Baja 500, was starting from the back of the pack again. But I think this worked out to his advantage. Um, Brock's a super smooth driver, and he's able to drive fast enough to win, but slow enough to finish, and bases his pace off that of the of the overall pack. It was a good day. We we started in the back, ended up uh, passing quite a bit of cars, had some downtime halfway through. 
uh, fell back a few positions and then uh, we just charged and ended up passing the, the lead car with about 10, 15 miles to go and, and was able to get that second win in a row for me was uh, obviously very special. We had you know, car issues at the uh, the 500 or the 250. We had you know kind of pit issues at the 500. Next race in the season is the 400. We're entering it, you know, again learning throughout the year, practicing on our mistakes. And the 400, I was really happy to see it all come together because the 400, we had a clean run with the car. We had a random shock issue, which, which, uh, no fault of Fox's, a plastic seal kind of broke, and and ultimately. We had replaced the shock on Brock's car uh, while he was leading. We replaced the shock in under five minutes, which is crazy. We had the parts ready, we had the pit strategy ready, and the team executed. Um, and it was really cool to see that all of the work we've been doing all year, all the things we've been learning kind of come together because not only did we replace the shock, give him a good car, he goes back and repasses for the lead uh, and goes on to win the race and take his second overall and our third race uh, win of the season. <laughs> <laughs> when you were heading into the Baja 1000, how important was it to you? How motivated were you? That's the one you want to win. You don't care if you lose every every race of the year. If you win the Baja 1000, the year's okay. I won the Baja 1000 win. It's a peninsula run, first of its kind. I wanted to win that race really badly.